biology is the study of living things. So if you want to study plants, animals, or even humans, you have to do biology. But what about bacteria? Is bacteria alive? Well, bacteria is alive. And bacteria is something that's very, very small. And so that specialty is called microbiology. Bacteria is everywhere. It's on our table, on the floor, even our hands. How do I know? Let's do this simple experiment that you can do at home. Okay, for this experiment, what you'll need is jello, airtight containers, hot water, a mixing bowl, something to mix it with, and a measuring cup. Make sure you ask your parents for help. For this simple experiment, what we'll do is we'll get some jello and we'll put it in the bowl. We're not going to follow all the directions on the box. Instead, we're just going to get one cup of hot water. But make sure you ask your parents for help. We're going to put that water into our jello and stir, stir, stir. We want to make sure that all the jello is dissolved. Next, you want to get your airtight containers. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our measuring cup that has a handle on it so that we don't burn ourselves. So you just want to scoop out some of your jello mixture and pour it into your airtight container. Make sure you close it up right away. What you want to do is put your airtight container in the refrigerator for one day. Once it's solidified, you take it out, open it, and touch it with your finger. Then leave it in an area where it's room temperature for a few days. After a few days, you should have a little bit of growth. What you'll see right here is bacteria that's beginning to grow on your very own Petri dishes. This bacteria is normal though. Don't worry about it. Even if you wash your hands, and touch the petri dish, you'll still have bacteria growth. Bacteria is all around. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. This one particularly is good. Again, it's biology, it's science. 